Valerie F. Fendel. This page was translated from the Russian version of the article Valery Fedorovich Fender born on August 2, 1937 in Zamferopol, Soviet Union is a Soviet and Russian psychologist, engineer, and designer. His main research areas are perception or perception and cognition, the connection attachment between anatomical structural perceptual information and complex thoughts, which includes problem solving, the process of mutual adaptation and transitions in general systems theory, the psychology of engineering and ergonomics, systems of hybrid intellect, and arc dynamics. Biography In 1954 Venda graduated with honours from Men's High School No. 14 in Semperopol, in Crimea. In 1960 he graduated from the Moscow Para Engineering Institute with a degree in Automation of Production Processes. From 1960 onward, as an employee of the Central Research Institute of Complex Automation, he designed and created a mnemonic scheme and computer monitoring system panel for the power unit of Mosnikov vendor realized that he lacked the necessary knowledge of engineering it as he tried to create a computerized information system. An expert, the Western psychologist and professor D. at Oshinin, who had lived in Paris for a long time and worked at the Sorbonne, came to help him. Oshinin and Venda began actively integrating psychological and engineering methodology, their familiarity with V. at Lektorsker's work on methodology and his original philosophical interpretation of general systems theory played an important role in their work. Additionally, Venda received personal permission from the Minister of Culture East. Efforts of it to study the works of K.S. Malevich, V. V. Kandinsky, and other scientists which were then stored as classified. Bendy used this knowledge to create usable information technology designs. In early 1963, at the age of 25, Venda was appointed head of the Department of Ergonomics at the All-Russian Institute of Technical Aesthetics. In 1967 Venda defended his graduate dissertation on the subject methods for increasing the efficiency of automated control system power operations. He became a senior research fellow working in technical aesthetics. The title was approved by the Higher Certification Commission of the USSR in 1971. In 1973, at the age of 35, Fender defended his doctoral dissertation on structural information models and the complexity of operational tasks in psychological science. Beginning in 1974, he served as head of the Department of Engineering Psychology at the Psychology Institute of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR. In addition, he worked as a professor at the Moscow Institute of Transport Engineers MIT from 1977 to 1988. In 1975 he became the head of an international program on engineering psychology and labor safety in socialist countries. Due to the achievements of this program, Fender was awarded the title of laureate for the International Prize for Outstanding Collaborative Research in Psychology by the USSR Academy of Sciences in conjunction with the Academies of Sciences of the Nine Socialist Countries German Democratic Republic, Berlin, October 1984. From 1975 to 1980, Fender directed three sections of avant-garde, the USSR National Programme on Military Economics. He was a member of the Executive Committee of the Psychological Society of the USSR 1975-1980 as well as a professor at the V.I. Lenin Military Political Academy 1975-1987. In 1984 he became a professor specialising in the field of labour psychology and engineering psychology. Beginning in 1985, he served as head of the Department of Education for the Union-wide Research Institute of Higher Education Problems and of the Union-wide Task Complex Programme for Improving the Quality of Higher Education in the USSR. In the 1980s, after creating a transformational theory of system dynamics and analysing Gorbachev's Paris Strike Plan linked to Fender proposed a project for transforming the socialist economy of the USSR into a market economy without large risks and losses for the country or the people. Then they addressed the Central Committee of the Communist Party and the government of the USSR, but they rejected his proposal and proposed that he go abroad to work as a teacher. In 1990 Venn became a professor at Loyola College in Baltimore, Maryland where he taught ergonomics and introduction to personal computers. Beginning in 1991, he directed the first program in Canada program for ergonomics and labour safety at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, Canada. In 2000 he served as the Senior Advisor for Engineering Psychology and Usability at the US web company in Phoenix, Arizona. In 2001 he served as the Senior Advisor for Ergonomics and Usability at DSD Systems in Kansas. Starting in 2002 he was a Professor of Ergonomics at National University in San Diego, California. From 2007 to 2009 he worked as a pro-rector of the Yalta University of Management and International Relations and a professor at the Crimean Humanitarian University in Yalta. From 1992 to 2002, Fender was a member of the editorial board of the International Journal Human-Computer Interaction US. 
From 1996 to 2005 he was a member of the editorial board of the International Journal of Occupational Safety and Ergonomics Poland. Benda is a laureate of the Distinguished International Colleague Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Human Factors Field US, 1996 and an Honorary Fellow of the Human Factors and Ergonomics Society USA, 2002. M.D. Fasson, the science writer for the newspaper Pravda, has long worked to popularize Vendor's works. Processes of Mutual Adaptation In his works, Vendor introduced the concept of mutual adaptation. He formulated the laws of mutual adaptation and transformation of system structures. In his opinion, these laws are common for all types of systems. No one. The law of mutual adaptation for any system, the development of any system includes the process of mutual adaptation between the internal components of the system and between the system as a whole and the environment. Fender believed that each developing system involves the process of mutual adaptation. He suggested that the development of people, society, any living system differs from the development of inanimate systems and in that it represents a process of mutual advanced multilevel adaptation of cells of human internal organs among themselves and of man as a whole with the environment. He analyzed the relationship between the material processes of mutual adaptation and dialectics between the material world and its ideal reflection by humans. No. 2. The law of maximum efficiency, the effectiveness of a system with a certain structure is optimal if the value of the controlled factor of mutual adaptation is also optimal. Consequently, the dependence of the efficiency criterion on any factor of mutual adaptation has a bell-shaped distribution figure 1. Bender conducted experimental studies into the influence of various factors of mutual adaptation on the effectiveness of systems, including human activities. He revealed that as a factor of mutual adaptation, any mental function, a parameter of the means or the means of activity. No. 3. The law of multistructural systems figure 2. A system can have a number of structures, each of which corresponds to a special bell-shaped distribution of the dependence of system efficiency on the chosen factor of mutual adaptation of the system to the environment. The structure of the system can be a discrete series with distinct differences in the values of the optimal factors of mutual adaptation. These maximized efficiencies for different structures are called strategies. No. 4. Or. The law of transformation, the structures of the system are transformed into each other to a common state within the system. The state of the system common to the two structures is reflected as the point of intersection of their bell-shaped curve figure 3. Then the belief that studying the development in any field, analyzing both single structure uniform models and multistructural transformational models, was fundamental in describing the dynamics of any complex systems as a wave-like process with an obligatory intermediate decline in system efficiency. Bender presented a new type of graphical nomograms, quadrangles with four quadrants that allow the representation of any experimental polycyclic processes, including mutual adaptation processes, and subsequently substantiated the possibility of their application in psychology, physiology, mathematics, and other sciences. The variant of the quadrigram structure is shown in Fig. 4. The places of particular models in quadrants and the direction of transitions can vary depending on the research tasks, the features of the environment, and the system. An example of constructing the dynamics of a medium system on a quadrogram is shown in Fig. 5. He introduced the concepts of system strategy or structure, a discrete series of structural system strategies, characteristic strategy curve, invariance of integral system efficiency, congruent structural strategy, basic divergent structural strategy, structure association, and reversible transformation. Transformation learning theory and system dynamics. Then they tried to revise the traditional psychological view of learning processing. Unlike Herman Ebbinghaus's unified exponential theory of teaching 1890, Bender proposed a transformational learning theory based on his transformational laws. He presented this as a wave-shaped learning curve with periods of decline in the transition from one activity structure to the next. His transformational learning theory greatly expands the possibilities of analyzing regularities and predicting individual development and systemic progress. He introduced the concepts of transformational theory of systems dynamics, transformations, the emergence of wave-like transformational processes in the economy, energy, science, etc., and co-adaptation, the process of mutual adaptation in living, inanimate and complex systems, in particular ecosystems and man-machine environment systems. In 1995 he published the book Dynamics and Ergonomics, Psychology and Decisions, Introduction to Ergodynamics, which is an introduction to ergodynamics, the process of mutual adaptation between a trained worker and structurally progressing instruments of labor. He proposed graphic models of predicting the dynamics of system efficiency and developed new methods of statistical processing of experimental data on learning processes. 
Vander suggested that all systems involved in the evolutionary process are encompassed by a continuous comprehensive process of mutual adaptation with periodic transformations of structures, generating new species, inventions, discoveries and wave-like dynamics of development. Hybrid Intelligent Systems Vander formulated the principles of synthesis and functioning of natural, evolutionarily developed, and artificial, human-machine and socio-technical, hybrid intelligent systems. He developed fundamentally new forms of intellectual activity in science, design, management, and technology the theory of hybrid intelligence systems including natural, biological, and social, artificial, technical, and combined human-machine, socio-technical. This theory was based on the laws of mutual adaptation and transformation. He considered the system of hybrid intelligence as a group system of collective thinking, using information technology adapted to each individual participant and to the whole group. He singled out the main principles of hybrid intelligence, such as evolution, a correspondence to the deep interests and structures of man, animals, and biospheres, democracy as an expression of equality, common interests and responsibilities of participants, flexible composition and flexible hierarchy, in which everyone is the leader at the time when he is the most competent, useful, and foresighted, mutual adaptation of all participants and components, the transformation of strategies as a path to the created generation of new strategies, and the intensification of communication communication processes. At the same time, he represented thinking strategies of hidden participants in hybrid intelligence using computer programs. Thixic shows an example of the structure of a hybrid intelligence system for a collective solution of complex problems of operational control, design, planning, and training on the basis of adaptive information technology. Engineering, Psychology, Ergonomics and Usability Bend experimentally investigated the problem of functional adaptation of the informational system structure for any specific human activity. He proposed a multi-level adaptation of technical facilities and external conditions for the operator in order to maximize the use of specific human capabilities in a management system. These adaptation levels include total, contingent, functional, group, individual, and individually operative adaptation. Bende examined the engineering and psychological problems of the synthesis of information display tools from the position of structural and psychological concepts, whose essence can be reduced to the fact that the structure of the information display system statistically determines the strategies and complexity of human decision-making. On the other hand, the goal of the optimal synthesis of information display systems was specified as the closest approximation of the real values of the psychological factors and the complexity of solving problems to their optimal values. Vendor developed theoretical, methodological, and practical recommendations on occupational guidance and in the selection and training of specialists. Based on the developed psychological principles of choosing multi-component means of information display structures, he considered engineering, psychological, and economic questions of artistic design for information tools and proposed heuristics for designers. He paid particular attention to the artistic, compositional, and analytical methods of implementing the formulated principles in order to select a structure for information display facilities. He attempted to unify parallel notions of information models, complex information display tools, and metal models onto a genetic, generalized reflection of objects, corrected on the basis of the real results of solving problems, and to bring these notions into terminological correspondence. He studied the psychological factors of the complexity of solving mental problems and their quantitative measures, depending on the structure of the visual information represented and concluded that if a problem is optimally presented, it loses a significant part of its complexity and becomes trivial. He studied theoretical economics and engineering psychology using the laws of mutual adaptation and transformation and investigated the mutual adaptation between the structure of the perceived display and the thought process. Then they collaborated with a Fahrenheit, Dijkhoff and Kelvin. The Frolov and together they experimentally investigated the dynamics, efficiency, and safety for the operators of power assets and systems. Then they gave psychological and ergonomic recommendations for designing information technology and for ensuring the safety of human machine environment systems. He stressed the importance of Russian science in the formation of the theoretical and applied basis for the usability of information technology. Studies on the development of creative abilities. Then it put forward the idea that it is possible to purposefully, artificially develop subconscious creative thinking after he studied the biographies and works of South. Perkin, Napoleon, and other outstanding personalities, and analyzed the results of his own longitudinal experiment, which lasted more than 65 years. Then it believed that artificially developing a child's subconscious creative thinking could enhance their intellectual talent, as well as instill in them superior motivation for intellectual success. Research Projects 
Verda was the project head for the development and implementation of integrated information systems for Mosego TPP Minus 21's Power Generation Unit. The head of the workshops of the Voskosinski and S.A. Shaikinsky Chemical Combine, the automated slabbing 1150 for the metallurgical plant Galotti, Romania, and for the integrated power systems of Transcaucasia in the Euros. He was the project manager for the development of camera consoles for the system of centralized operational control of urban transport in Moscow, the start system. He invented, designed, created, and explored a new kind of safe workplace for assembling electronic devices in a practical manner. A feature of his work was the indirect observation of workers in their operations when assembling electronic devices. He obtained a patent for this invention on June 22, 1995. Benda developed ergonomic recommendations for the prevention of accidents at nuclear power plants and other processing facilities. For the first time, he used the registration of oculometer behavior and the complex psychophysiological parameters of a person for the evaluation of information technology. A scientific analysis of ancient astrologers' activities was among his outside interests. Benda thought that astrologers mistakenly believed that they were studying the influence of stars on people's lives, but, in fact, as they were observing the starry sky as a complex clock and simultaneously recording events on Earth, they were accumulating valuable data on cyclic processes in nature. He proposed a strategy for winning the game Sport Loader 6 of 49, trying to solve the problem not as a traditional mathematical problem, but a psychological one, arguing that although the balls pop up chaotically, after studying the for the majority of players' strategy in playing Sport Loader, one can see there is a chance for constant probability of winning much more than prescribed by probability theory. Teaching Bender was a professor at MIT, BPA named after Lenin, Loyola College, Manitoba University, National University San Diego, USA. He gave lectures and seminars at 56 universities, including Harvard University, Stanford University, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Cambridge, the University of Paris, Paris French, Université de Paris, and many universities in Japan, Sweden and other countries. Vendor authored and co-authored 23 books and more than 300 scientific articles. Over 120 of his works have been published abroad, including four monographs in English, Slovak and Spanish. His books were used as university textbooks in the USSR, Slovakia, Spain, the US, and Canada. Awards In 1984, Valerie Vendor was awarded International Prize for Outstanding Research in Psychology by joint decision of USSR Academy of Science and Academies of Science of nine other socialist countries. In 1996, he was the first person received a new Distinguished International Colleague Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Human Factors and Economics Field from United States of America Human Factors and Economics Society. In 2002, he was the first person elected Honorary Fellow United States of America Human Factors and Economics Society.